no hang-ups. Hello, this is John. Leave a message at the tone and I'll get back to you. For those who don't have lips, Eve a message and I call all you act thank you. Beep. Welcome back to Sassy Granny Vlogs. Okay, guys, here is my artist page for this week in my artesian journal. Patty is the host. Her channel is Life with Patty. And the hashtag for this is, if I can remember it right, I'll have it in the title anyway, artesian journal prompts. 2024. I think I got that right. I hope I did, Patty. I'm sorry if I didn't. But anyway, this week, every Sunday, she gives us a new prompt to work, you know, a page in our journal. And um, so then we share it, what we've done. So this week, it was scraps, scrap paper of any kind. It could be scrapbook paper scraps. It could be um, just writing paper, wrapping paper, wallpaper, any kind of paper, as long as it's scraps of that. So, this was out of my scrap basket, and I tried another scene situation, but I just did it just going by colors. So, look, all of these green down here is the ground, the grass, okay? This is a road, as you can tell, with taxi cars on it. The blue is the sky. The white is the clouds. Okay, so this is the sun. We have a hot air balloon in the sky. We have a rainbow and a rainbow here. Now, this is a mountain, and this is a tent on top of the mountain. Somebody's camping out. This is a little house on this side of the road. And then down here we have a tree, we have another tree, and we have some more little trees. And then we have some flowers. So this is just a board laying on the grass, and this is some hard chunks of dirt rock stuff laying on the grass. But this is like, say, another farm yard on this side of the road, because you have a horsey here. Maybe that's part of the barn, I don't really know. I cut that little piece out to be like the hay bale that the horse could come over and eat. So that's my little scene. Hope y'all enjoy it and like it. I had fun putting it together even though I was sick. Still sick, feel bad, throat still sore. Still trying to get over this mess. Wondering if I ever will and get back to my normal. But anyway, okay guys. So... Y'all check out Life with Patty and join her little um collab thing here. Alright guys, I'll see y'all later in the next clip. Toots until then. Okay, today is Thursday, February the 15th. And I have managed to be in my craft room and work a little bit on all the things that I had going. Which is... Uh, I worked on coloring a page in a zine. Another little journal that I'm working on here. I'll share with y'all later. I got another pamphlet sewed together. Now I gotta get it sewed in my book for my paint chip book. I finished up. I had done started it, and but I finished it today, the page in my artesian journal with Patty. And I worked a little bit on my puzzle. Now I'm trying to think, is that all I did? Puzzle, artesian journal, paint chip journal, little journal, and zine. 
So that's four things at least that I've done today. And I wanted to let y'all know what day it is. You know, the date-wise, rather. I usually don't say that. But anyway, because I'm working on making another vlog. I would like to, you know, have it put up by Saturday at least. This is Thursday. But I just started it today, so I don't know if it'll make it or not. But anyway... I'm fixing to go try to find me something to eat for lunch. And then see what else I feel like doing. Well, this didn't take long to do. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'll be glad when I get to feeling better and get back to my normal self again. I really, really, really will. All right, guys. I'll talk to y'all in the next clip. Toots until then. Okay, so it's the same day, and I've fixed my lunch. I fixed me potted meat sandwich, but I like to do my sandwich in halves, so I don't put it all together and cut it in half or anything. I just use one bread and fold it over, but this is a potted meat sandwich. Somebody asked me in a comment, said they had never tried potted meat. This is potted meat. I got mayonnaise on my bread and then potted meat. Now, I do different from other people normally. Someone would have made probably two or three sandwiches out of one can of potted meat. This is one can of potted meat and on, on both of these. You see how it's oozing out? I pile it on because I like it that way. I don't like it just covering my bread a little bit, you know? Because I don't like more bread than what I have inside. I like more of whatever's inside than what I have of bread. And then I got me a few chips to eat here. And I'm drinking Gatorade since I've been sick. So anyway, this is my lunch. I'm going to sit here and eat lunch and watch some videos. And then I'm probably going to have to take a nap. Because I can feel myself waning down. All right, guys, but I wanted to share with y'all what I'm having for lunch. Okay, see y'all in the next clip. Toots until then. This is a little before clip of my shelf before I start doing a little bit of organization. I really don't do anything to the top part, but this one here I do. I'm going to rearrange a few things according to the crafts and junk journals that I have that I'm working on. Okay, so this is what I have done so far. Like I said, I ain't did nothing to the top. But I straightened up my ribbons. They were kind of like rolled down longer, so I did that. And then all of this stuff is more or less pretty stuff to sit around and look at. This is holding the ATCs. This is my zine, my first ever zine someone made me. And there's a lot of empty space here. Then I've got my glue booking stuff here and here and here. Because um, that's glue booking stuff, all of that is. Then I went on down and did some more. And I know I didn't show y'all, but y'all seen these shelves before. This here used to be on the very bottom. And don't mind the trash. i got to sweep that up. This here is a journal to be worked in and decorated. It was up here. And then this is cards and stuff. Basically, I got that set in there to hold this up where it won't slide down and lay all the way down. This here is my um, ATC books. And then this is a journal. Uh, washi tape and duct tape mailing envelopes you know it don't go together it i'm still not i'm not a great organizer but anyway and more washi tape and that is the same that was there i left it there but all of that is different that i put down there um but i'm not through i'm going to take these two shelves and transfer those things to over here and bring these things over there and hopefully be able to add more.
those things that I'm working on there now. All right, guys, just wanted to share that with y'all. Okay, see y'all in the next clip, Toots. Until then. Hi, I'm at the Chinese restaurant in town today by myself. You know what? This is a salad. So I drop seed, and then I have a plate of stuff. And I have sweet and sour dipping sauce. So it's bright. And I'm going to enjoy it even more. If you thought me and that's me, and he'll come pick me up. I'll be taking my time and enjoy. I have tanks with the thing up there. Okay, guys. I'm through with my salad. She done come got my plate. But now I'm going to eat my um, egg drop soup. Love it. Alright, and then I'll start on that. And then I still gotta go back and get dessert. Uh huh. <laughs> Can't do without dessert. Alright, see y'all in a bit. Now I'm gonna work on my plate. I got my sauce ready. Drink. Finish my egg drop soup over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so I finished eating my lunch and then I walked down here from that way to Goodwill and I have walked all over Goodwill looking and I found a couple of things and bought them and now this is the bench they have here inside the store. And I am sitting here waiting for Hubby to come get me. So, um, I thought I would vlog in here. I didn't vlog while walking around and looking because I don't know. I don't think to. I'm concentrating and looking at what they got. And, stuff and so I kind of forget to. Oh, I'm tired and you know kind of hurting from walking around so much. It's been a while since I've you know walked around in a store and outside from store to store and all of that kind of stuff but anyway. Alright guys, I'll jump in for now. Hello everybody. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> My throat is still scratchy. Anyway, yesterday I went to town. I enjoyed it a little bit. You know, getting out again, but... I still just kind of feel bad. But anyway... I enjoyed eating at the Chinese restaurant. It was all good. I even got me uh, one of their chopsticks. I'm going to look up videos and see. I used to try to do that and learn to do it. And I thought I had it one time, but then you know how life happens. Years go by and you don't do things. You don't stay with things and keep doing them. So I don't know if I can anymore, but I'm going to try again with videos and stuff and it's got the directions on there too how to hold it but i want to see if i can learn how to do that but went to goodwill you know i made that little video oh, i got a little uh, two item haul here <laughs> so i'm going to share with y'all what i got and then i got a story to tell y'all and this is a scary story <laughs> And this makes me want to stay home and not never go nowhere. <sighs> but then I go crazy when I can't go nowhere. <laughs> what do you do? Okay. I seen these. And I thought that was so cute. Now this was Goodwill. Y'all tell me if this is a good price. $2.99. I guess that's what I paid for. That's what's on there. Now over here, 
It said 9.99 or 9.39, something like that. I just get, I don't really pay attention to the prices. I got money in the store. If I see something I want, I buy it. If I got the money, you know, of course I can't go over my amount of money that I have. Ugh. I found this and I was totally shocked. So I could not pass it up. And I had to get it. I have one of these myself. But again, it's out there in that stinking trailer. And they ain't no telling what kind of shape it's in. And to be honest with you, I didn't have mine glued in. I just had them sitting in there. So, look, there really ain't no telling what kind of shape they're in. But, this is a craft item someone made. Someone that does paper crafting. And that's a lot better craft making than I am, you know, prettier and stuff. Now, on the back side, but this is just the um, price of it. This, it, well, it says Goodwill on there. So, $5.99. I paid $5.99, $6 for this. It is an artist trading card tray that you hang on the wall to put artist trading cards in that you make or other people make for you. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That is pretty. Just look. I'm going to hold it up close so y'all can see all of them. I could not pass it up. I just had to get this. And it makes me wonder who here in my town crafts like this and then gives it to Goodwill. That just totally don't even make sense, you know? But it is so cute. I love it. So I got it. And I'm going to try my best to find somewhere on this wall to hang it up. <laughs> but that's what I got at Goodwill and that's all I got now. Let's get to that scary story that I have to tell y'all. So, after the last clip that I made sitting on that bench in Goodwill, waiting on hubby to come get me, I was just sitting there. It's going to slip down the fall in a minute. It's, I got it standing up propping, but it'll slip down. I was sitting there, and I did not catch the very first of this event, if you want to call it that. So I don't really know what happened at the beginning. But I was sitting there, and you know how you always sit there, and I was probably looking at my phone, and then I look up and look around. You know how you'll look around and watch people? Well, my eyes landed on this young lady. And she looked agitated and she was kind of pacing and walking around and looking out the window and then the lady that owns the goodwill building uh because she had been standing there around the front at the door and welcoming people everybody that come in and everything uh i heard her say something to this agitated lady and point outside and say he's right there and, and the lady said yeah I know I'm waiting and so I just that caught my interest and so I start I just kept watching and listening to him and come to find out what it was there was a man he looked like an older man outside he had a big old coat on he had a hoodie on he had a backpack and he was toting a bag but he had been following that young lady and she was ready if i'm not mistaken like i said i didn't really catch the beginning of it but i think she had already walked out the door she was leaving the store she had her bag of stuff she had gotten and when i had first caught her i think she had like rushed back into the store and that's why she was agitated and walking around and looking out the window well, she didn't leave right away. And the lady of the building that owns the Goodwill building 
was talking to her and was watching that guy and he had walked out into the parking lot and was like he was just lingering and hanging around kind of like he was waiting for her. So that lady that owns the building, she said, well, I'm not going to uh, uh, let you go out by yourself. So she gets another man to, to go with her to walk that lady out to her car. So they did. Well, they came back in and she called the cops. The guy actually, after she came back in, that guy actually came back up to the store and was fixing to walk in that store, Goodwill. And that lady, the one that owns the building, held up her hand at the door and said, uh, -uh no, go on. She wouldn't even let him come back in the store. And then she called the cops so I was sitting there waiting on hubby, but I texted him anyway and told him about it all, and <clears throat> which he didn't read. I mean, he, he kind of read, but he didn't get it all. He didn't answer me on text. He didn't call. He just showed up. Uh, but I, I he called me when he showed up, which I was looking for him anyway, and I had seen him. And so uh, I answered the phone, and then I walked out. But I mean, the, by that time, the lady that owns the building and that other man that had walked the lady to her car had went outside with a couple of other people from inside Goodwill. And they were talking and she had, like I said, was on the phone talking to the cops. So I felt safe enough at that point to walk out, which hubby was out there. There's no way I would have walked out without him being out there. So I walked out and got in the truck and then as me and hubby was driving out of the parking lot, the police car was coming in. Freaky, scary, uh, and that's right here in my town, y'all. <laughs> Do I ever wanna go to town again? <laughs> shut in all the time because you're a weird person and can't live life right and normal then you go crazy because you're inside all the time and gonna get depressed and and you gotta get out but then you get out and something like this happens and that makes you not want to ever get out again ah what do you do anyway i know this is one over so this is the end of this vlog and I'll get started on another one as soon as I can and have something to do and show y'all. Oh, I've been organizing my room. Y'all got some of that. I finished up a little bit more and I'll show y'all that, share that with y'all later. I guess in the next vlog. Since this one's over with now. Sorry. <laughs> okay, guys. I will let y'all go and we'll see y'all in the next vlog. Vlog. V-L-O-G. Vlog. Toodaloo.